a very warm welcome to all the students of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning students! A warm welcome to all the students of Standard 8. Today, we are going to study a new topic in English grammar. Requesting you all to please take down notes. So today, we are going to study exclamatory sentences. Previously, in my previous video, we studied about interrogative sentences and imperative sentences and also we studied what are assertive sentences. Today, we shall study in depth about exclamatory sentences. Hello students, I am Ms. Jaisal De Silva, teacher of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. We will be teaching you all this topic. Before we start with our topic today, let's know what is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words which consists of a complete thought which has a combination of subject and verb and also a valuable meaning in that particular sentence. A sentence needs to be giving some kind of complete thought. For example, blue sky is the. That particular sentence doesn't make any sense at all. While the sentence just below that, the sky is blue, is giving us a complete thought. Also, we see in that particular sentence, the subject is blue. It is also a combination of subject and verb. It is giving some kind of meaning. Any particular sentence can be as a command, can have an exclamation, can ask as a question or a statement. So, that is what is known as a sentence which help us to know, which help us to get a complete thought and which has a combination of subject and verb and have also have a meaning to that particular sentence. I hope till now you all must have become masters of the sentences. As known earlier, there are Four kinds or four types of sentences that we use in get ready life in during our conversation or also while writing exams, learning something, we use this kinds of this various types of sentences which can either be as a declarative sentence, imperative sentence, interrogative sentence or exclamatory sentences. So today we are going to study in depth about exclamatory sentences. But before that, I will just give you a short, short introduction about each. As mentioned earlier, about declarative sentences, which are also known as assertive sentences, are sentences that make statements. Imperative sentences are sentences which express a command or request or any kind of advice. Interrogative sentences are sentences which ask questions and today that we are going to study that is exclamatory sentences are sentences those which express a very strong feelings or strong emotions. So let's get started. Before we move into depth, let's understand what is an exclamatory sentence. An exclamatory sentence conveys a strong emotion and ends with an exclamation mark. As mentioned earlier, interrogative sentence ends with a question mark, declarative sentence full stop, and imperative sentence it can be either exclamatory or full stop. Whereas, whereas exclamatory sentence will always end with an exclamation mark because it is conveying, conveying a strong emotion or a strong message. An exclamatory sentence or exclamation is more forceful version of a declarative sentence. In other words, an exclamatory sentence makes a statement 
just like a declarative sentence but it also conveys excitement or emotion if we compare exclamatory sentence and declarative sentence it's almost the same but in exclamatory sentence we see that it is conveying some kind of excitement some kind of emotion and therefore we use an exclamatory mark that's what i've informed you all when we studied imperative sentence that when to put a um, exclamation mark and full stop when some kind of strong message you want to give to a particular person or advice that time you have to put an exclamation mark but in exclamatory sentence you always have to put an exclamation mark because it is forcefully giving some kind of some kind of information or some it is conveying some type some kind of excitement or emotion exclamatory sentences are common in advertise and informal correspondence example email text there are quite they are quite rare in business correspondence where a level head usually needs to be portrayed so this kinds of sentences exclamatory sentences we often use when we write an email or when we chat with our friends or when we see some kind of incident and we have to give some kind of expression that time we use an exclamatory sentences for example what a coincidence this is how beautiful this city is so this kind of sentences are known as exclamatory sentences as mentioned earlier exclamatory sentence the definition is right down is a sentence that express a strong emotion and ends with an exclamation exclamation mark examples i am free is expressing joy i try to you express love she actually won express surprise you are late again expresses anger so we see such kinds of sentences we use in our day to day life in our day to day conversation it is not used in a business structure it is mostly used in an informal communication we use in our day to day life mostly during your exams they will tell you all to convert an assertive sentence into exclamatory and from exclamatory to assertive sentence so as mentioned earlier assertive sentences are sentences which declares or asserts a statement feelings opinions incident event history or anything is called an assertive sentences assertive sentences are, are also known as declarative sentences and assertive sentences ends with a period that is a full stop assertive sentences can be either affirmative or negative now what is the meaning of the word affirmative affirmative is a sentence which expresses the validity or truth on the basis of assertion while a negative form of form is also expressed for example you can say in a sentence jo is your would be affirmative sentence while jo is not your would be a negative sentence the word affirmative is an adjective it describes something so an affirmative assertive sentence can either be affirmative or negative for example humki dumpty sat on the wall this particular sentence is just a statement okay and therefore it is known as assertive sentences so today we shall study how to convert and it is going to be very easy for you all so please take down notes let's study how to convert an assertive to exclamatory sentence without changing the meaning you all have to follow three steps the first step is you have to move the words till the helping verb till the end of the sentence you have to move the words till the helping verb to the end of the sentence and if the helping verb is not there then you have to make use of main verb secondly you have to remove the adverb that is very extremely greatly so we have to remove it out and step number 3 is that if there is in a particular sentence if an article a and an is there then you have to make use of what and if there is no a and an then you have to make use of how this is just a short 
three steps you'll have to keep in mind. I'll give you all two examples. It will be helpful for you all and you all will understand it very, very clearly. The first step is you have to move the helping verb till the end of the sentence. You have to pick that helping verb and you have to move that to the end of the sentence. For example, Sachin is. You have to pick Sachin is and you have to move it back to the end of the sentence. Then you have to remove the adverb and then remove the adverb such in where extremely greatly slowly you all know what is the job of an adverb okay as i mentioned in parts of speech adverb is a word used to add something to the meaning of a verb an adjective okay so you have to remove the adverb if any of this are there very extremely greatly slowly and if in a particular sentence an assertive sentence if there is a or a n then you have to make then you have to start with what and if there is no a and a n as an article then we have to write how let's move towards few examples this is one kind of trick which will which you all can um, use it while converting an assertive to exclamatory firstly it is very important to read the sentence very carefully now this sentence is sachin is a very great cricketer now we have to convert this particular sentence into exclamatory now a is there therefore we have to start with what before that we should follow our three steps the first step is we have to move the words till the helping verb end of the sentence and if the helping verb is not there then main verb so that's what we have done a very cricketer sachin is so we have moved the helping verb to the end of the sentence then we have to remove adverb now what is the adverb over here very so we have removed very and then you have to frame the sentence again a great player sachin is now step 3 you have to add a because as i have mentioned earlier if a and an is there then we have to start with what and if a and an is not there in a particular sentence then we have to uh, start with how so now convert the sentence what a great player sachin is i hope this concept is clear for you all at least now because i am trying to make it very simple for you all to understand i hope this trick is for you i hope this trick is one trick is very helpful for you all there are one more trick i will share it with you all but for now i hope you all understood this three step trick that you will use to convert any assertive sentence into exclamatory sentence so these are two examples find out whether you all can follow the three steps and convert this particular two sentences he has extremely important exam so what is the first step we have to move the helping verb to the end of the sentence so that's what we have doing we moved he has to the end of the sentence that will come as extremely important exam he has after that next time we have to remove the adverb so what is the adverb over here extremely we removed so what will be the uh, sentence important exam he has now since there is no article over there we have to start with how so that's what we got the answer how important exam he has the next one you all are going to do i hope you all will get the same answer the the most important thing read the sentence if there is no adjective sorry if there is no article a n a n a or a n then you have to start with how if there is an article then you have to start with what that is a simple trick step i can tell you all and you have to follow the two steps you have to remove the adverb if you have to convert a sentence into exclamatory sentence so let's move ahead to a next trick i am going to share it with you all so i am telling you all to take down notes so your uh, two tricks i would like to share it with you all as i mentioned earlier in how to form an exclamatory sentence you all can follow that three steps also or as mentioned earlier you all have to use an and a when so you all can convert a sentence You, you have to use what if you are if in a particular sentence an and a is there then what 
plus adjective plus subject plus helping verb plus don't forget to write exclamatory marks. Then when you have to start with how, if you have to frame a how sentence, then how plus adjective plus subject plus helping verb. So this is the structure you all have to keep in mind because it will be very helpful for you all when you all have to convert a sentence. So I hope you all understood this particular topic which will be very helpful for you all. Also when you write, when you start a sentence with what, it can either have a or an. Okay, when you frame a sentence, for example, what a fantastic story we have to publish. So you all should keep in mind whether to use an or a. So it can, it has to be what plus it can be a, either an or a plus adjective plus subject plus helping work plus exclamatory mark. And how, for how you don't have to use any article. So how plus adjective plus subject plus helping work plus exclamatory mark is the format. You can either use the first three step to convert a sentence or you can use this. But don't forget to add an or a when you convert a sentence as in what. Okay. And how to form an assertive sentence. If you have to form an assertive sentence subject plus helping verb plus verb and you can use either from this words like really great, indeed, extremely, certainly, very, etc. plus adjective and plus full stop. And a certain sentence ends with a full stop. So that is your structure how you will convert an exclamatory sentence. And if they tell you want to convert from exclamatory sentence to assertive then you have to follow this format. We'll move to a few examples and your concept will be very much clear. And uh, I'm here to help you all. But just keep in mind that when you all have to convert an assertive sentence to exclamatory, you all have to remove adverb. Okay, you all have to remove adverb. But when they tell you all to form an assertive sentence, that time you all have to add all, uh, all these adverbs like really, great, indeed, extremely, certainty. Okay. So here are a few examples. So whenever they tell you all to convert any sentence to assertive, then you have to follow this trick that I am sharing it with you all. So now we have to convert an exclamatory sentence to assertive sentence. So how ugly animal camel is. So now we have to convert it back to an assertive sentence. So what is the format subject plus helping verb plus verb plus it can be either of these words plus adjective full stop. So how ugly animal is. So we have to first what is our subject over here camel. So camel we have written helping verb is is then we used the adverb very plus adjective ugly. The rest of the remainder animal full stop. So see it is coming correct. Camel is very ugly animal. So when we convert with this format with this trick I have shared it with you all. It will be easier for you all to convert any sentence to assertive. Now look at the next example what an amazing place it is. When we had to convert from assertive to exclamatory you all know I have mentioned you all to shift the Starting sentence, the helping verb sentence to the end. But during assertive, you all have to bring the ending sentence into start. So it is we are bringing it in the start. Now what is there? Okay, so it can be either a n or a. What it is an very amazing place or it can be it is a very amazing place. So this is how you all will go about it. If you all Look, you all will understand it very carefully over here. In the third example, how happily she played the violin. So over here, what is the subject? She. She is a pronoun. So she played the violin very happily. We have, as I mentioned earlier, you all have to add adverb when you, when they tell you all to convert any sentence into assertive. It can be very either great, indeed, extremely, certainty, so, etc. 
the next example how proudly she carried home the prize she carried home the prize with great pride i hope this concepts are very much easy for you all to convert a sentence because i am sharing you all the trick and it will be very helpful for you all to convert any sentence to an assertive sentence also you are a few examples to rewrite it as assertive sentences and i hope you all are getting it right you all can pause my video you all can frame the sentence and check whether you all are getting the answer right okay i hope you all are getting it right because i am sharing you all a lot of tricks with you all so we write as exclamatory sentence you all can either use my three step formula or how to convert the sentence or you all can use the previously what plus a n or a plus adjective plus subject plus helping word plus exclamatory mark or how plus adjective plus subject plus helping word plus exclamatory mark you all know when to use how when to use what so accordingly here are a few examples i would like to share it with you all you all can use either i feel that the three step formula is the easiest one and it will be very helpful for you all to convert the sentence the captain was astonished now since a is not there so you all use the three step formula and how astonished the captain was we are such a great leader three step formula and you'll get now since a is there therefore you are using what so what a great nation we are it was truly surprise inspiring picture what what a truly inspiring picture it was so i hope you all are getting or getting your answers right here are few more examples for you all you all can pause it you all don't look at the answers and check whether you all are getting such answers right and i hope you all understood this concept it is very easy i have shared a lot of tricks with you all which will be helpful for you all to convert a sentence from assertive to exclamatory or from exclamatory to assertive hoping you all that you all understood the concept which because i have made it very 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 simple for you all so here are a few examples for you all you are going to go through it i hope you all understood this topic exclamatory sentences i have made it very short and sweet so that you all can understand you all can go through my video twice thrice so that you all will understand it to the best of your knowledge and i am making such topics very simple simple for you all i am sharing a lot of tricks with you all so that it will be helpful for you all you all can note it down i hope it was very productive thank you have a nice day stay safe stay healthy